now we move to the recent the recent robins update edition the 10th edition of the recent robins that has updated a new programmed cell death which is called as ferroptosis now ferroptosis as a term it was coined back in 2012 only okay it is not a new term it was coined back in 2012 only but yes robins in its 10th edition has included this special programmed cell death okay so now if you break out the term if you break out the term ferro ferro means iron okay ferro means iron and ptosis means falling off so this is the literal this is the literal meaning of ferroptosis okay so as i always say that it is very important for us to understand the normal normal mechanism of the cell first because when i will be telling you the mechanism of ferroptosis or say for any other pathological thing so if you know the normal mechanism then you will be able to appreciate that at which step of the normal mechanism there is a loophole or at which step there is a problem which is leading to various pathological diseases okay so for that first i will give you a brief insight about a normal cellular mechanism which normal cellular mechanism i will tell you now okay so now look at this look at this this is a cell okay this is a normal cell so what happens in a normal cell there is a transporter system okay there is a transporter system which does that which which uh, actually causes the transport of the glutamate from inside the cell to outside the cell okay there is a transporter i'll repeat listen to me very carefully because if you will understand this normal mechanism it will be very easy for you to understand the mechanism of ferroptosis in just few seconds okay so listen to me what happens that there is a normal transporter that is present on the cell membrane and the function of this transporter is to transport glutamate from inside the cell to outside the cell and in return or in exchange of it it transports cysteine from uh, outside the cell to inside the cell okay so it transports cysteine from outside the cell to inside the cell understood so now what happens when this when this cysteine enters okay so when the cysteine enters when the cysteine enters inside the cell it is further reduced it is further reduced to form cysteine okay it is further reduced to form cysteine so now when this cysteine is formed it is very important why it is very important because it is very important for the synthesis of glutathione okay it is very important for the synthesis of glutathione and now i want to tell you a very important point that this glutathione it is a very important cofactor for gpx4 enzyme a very important cofactor for gpx4 enzyme what is the full form of gpx4 gpx4 means glutathione peroxidase 4 enzyme okay and if you if you try to memorize if you try to memorize your knowledge about the free radical injury okay in my video session also regarding the free radical injury i told you that glutathione peroxidase is a very potent antioxidant system of our body okay what is an antioxidant antioxidant means anti to the oxidants anti to the free radical or the reactive oxygen species which protect the cell from the harmful effects of the free radical injury that means glutathione peroxidase 4 or gpx4 is a potent antioxidant which will protect the cell from the harmful effects of the free radical injury and when gpx4 is protecting the cell from the harmful effects at that point of time this glutathione it is this glutathione it is in the reduced form i am writing it as gsh so this reduced form of the glutathione will be converted to the gssg which is called as oxidized form of the glutathione okay so i will summarize it again for you that what happens what happens 
that normally what happens there is a transporter on the cell membrane which transports glutamate from inside of the cell to the outside outside of the cell and in exchange of it it will transport cysteine from outside of the cell inside the cell which is which when which when comes into the cytosol which will come into the cell it will be reduced to form the cysteine and this cysteine forms a very important part of the glutathione and this glutathione it is a very important cofactor for g PX4 that is glutathione peroxidase 4 which is a very important antioxidant and which when protects the cell from the free radical injury it will convert the reduced form of the glutathione to the oxidized form of the glutathione. So can I say that glutathione is very important for the GPX4 activity? Yes, I can say that that glutathione is very important for the GPX4 activity. Okay, so now I told you this was the normal mechanism how a cell protects itself from the injury by the free radical okay especially the glutathione peroxidase, peroxidase uh, antioxidant helps in protecting the cell okay so now what happens in ferroptosis so after understanding the normal thing I want to tell you what happens in ferroptosis so in ferroptosis in ferroptosis what happens <coughs> 